Hello everyone, welcome back to Fablehaven Age of Wonders, or the World Serpent's Chosen Grand Chieftain, Pusesic, is about to claim another facet of the Great Scaled One from Medeus, who, assuming she doesn't run like a craven dog, should perish in two turns. That will leave only Asgoroth as the missing facet, but of course we are at war with the other inhabitants of this world as well. Newfound enemy, Moradin, the Betrayer, the Forge Father, has um, decided to wage war against Shekenister, and of course we stand strong with our Naga Queen, who's kind of mad at me, but I'm sure she'll get over it. And of course the ever-annoying Shar, who is probably going to push me out of this city, but um, maybe the AI will ignore it. Who knows? Before I press this intern button, we are of course now at the stage where I'm cutting out the interns because they are taking their sweet time. I am going to make a brand new orb. I made last time the Shysis Bane, which, uh, by the way, I was incorrect. The Lord of Death is Shyish, not Shysis. I'm not sure where that came from. But um, it's not very useful against the living Dowie now, is it? So we are going to make a brand new weapon for her. And we are going to choose the element by clicking on some of Moradin's armies, and seeing what they're weak against. Only two resistance, wow. But it looks like you're weak against lightning. The earthen spirits are, of course, weak to spirits. What are we looking at? Oh-ho! Ah, steel skin. So, lightning is going to do superbly well here. Let's whip out some lightning. We could do arc fire to try and make it slightly more, you know, universal. But I say we just go all in on it. Why not? Let's zappy zap. Now, how do I zappy zap the most efficiently? We could do the inflict wet shenanigans, but I think we'll actually just use thunderstorm for once in my life. I think that'll be fun. We can chain as well. And um, probably just crit chance, right? Oh, I never did find out if we can get the crit bonus from, uh, what's it called? The Flame Forger or whatever. So we'll just go with crit hit chance. Tempest Spark Collar. Tempest Dwarf Bane. We're making this specifically to counter Morden the Root Sod. And, uh, with that in the Forge, I say we move on to the next turn. Perhaps, oh, I need to make sure I'm always casting something. I need to use these limited... Limited costing points as well as I can. Do we want to bring out a, a missling? I only have one, I think. They're pretty cool. Did I ever cast this? I did not. We'll get that in the bucket. Although I don't do a whole lot of shielded stuff. That's um what we're going to do. I do hope more than shills. Our economy is also pretty insane. So we can start making stuff, preferably things that do not cost Imperium. Because that's our only weakness right now. You know, we can make some... Wyverns, Ancestor Wardens. You know, we'll make two of each. Why not? And then you can make the Ancestor Wardens. Just, you know, to hang out. Have fun. Chill. Do as we please. The next turn is upon us. I have decided to rename this city. Because Skywatch, I mean, it kind of makes sense. But we're going to rename this to Sea Watch. Because, you know, it's in the middle of the sea. This is my island. What a glorious island it is. It also expanded because it has an insane amount of growth. It's beautiful. Perfect. Lovely. Glorious. Knowledge. Oh, I do want to expand this way. I suppose I can go boop, boop, boop. There we go. With how fast it's growing, it's not going to take that long. This is our Spoder backup team. And we are indeed leaving it as a Spoder backup team. You fair maidens are returning home. Because we are not afraid, but we must be prepared. Now, remember, we do have a teleportation mastery, which is kind of surprising. I'm a little worried about this. Oh, I need to go liberate docks. What am I doing? This is no time to be standing still. Docks is in need of aid. Wait a minute. They pillaged the Chrono Cave, right? 
Doctor's in need of aid, and we must answer. I need to make sure that I am within range in case Morden decides to attack us. You never know. The Craven Dog. You will have this Wyvern guard on Capital City. There may come a moment when he is needed. But as of right now, he is not. House of Night. Expanding farther. Not bad, not bad. Golden Wyvern. The scaffold was lost. Yes, unfortunately, Shah did know what to do. This is rude. I wish they would just attack him. Just hit him! <sighs> Celestial Haven can annex further, and it shall. Look at all of this beautiful knowledge. Spell Tempered Shields are ready. This is, again, not going to do a whole lot for us, but we do have a few exemplars and blessed souls and whatnots. We do have a new trait in the Imperium Tree. And I don't think we're going to pop them. We are, of course, filthy rich, so there's no need. And consolidated industry, I've never liked this. We also need to make sure that we are saving what little Imperium can we have, because Siege Masters is spectacular. And I wouldn't mind Resourceful Vigor or Mossel Ancestry, so... We have some good stuff coming. Chicanister has been felled, how dare you? You are... Liking me more? Fantastic. We'll take some food. A province is being pillaged. By what? Really? Hmm. Oh, Shekinister took this. Hmm. Hmm. This wouldn't have been a bad city for me, honestly. Especially because this is right here. Holy crap. Oh, there's a Forsaken Cove here. Well... Char has finally realized that this is a golden wonder she could have. And Solzadam, my poor vassal, is besieged. That's actually quite a scary army, all things considered. Well, we are losing things across the board. My minimum Imperium income is about to get worse. Which is very unfortunate. We have a lot of work to do up north. And Medeus appears to be standing her ground. In a way, I respect it. In a way. I want no Imperium stuff. Okay, we'll just chill. As for which spell we're going to cast... I suppose we can get Phasing Enchantment. Why not? This will make us all of our support, and Battle Mages can teleport. And unfortunately also makes them look like they are partially invisible. But we can now take our new fancy trick here. Somewhere. And... Hide it. Right? Yes. I'm not saying I did that just for the Skalds, but I am saying they were a significant determination in that. Do I have Wrath of the Emperor locked in? I don't. Let's get it locked in. You never know when you need some wrath. Well, in a way, I respect that Medeas did not flee like a coward. But we shall show her our ire in a moment. Let me just make sure real quick that... I don't know where the sound is here. I'm not being besieged by the powers that be. And I am not. So let's uh, make our way towards docks. I'm not sure where this uh, individual vassal of mine is off to. That is kind of spooky, though. <laughs> Wherever she may be. We have a beautiful defensive stack full of everything you could possibly desire. And I think we'll keep it that way. If we desire to build an army, we have plenty of units to do so. But for now, they shall be our wayward defense to ensure the swamps of Cormier do not fall. Wild Art can annex. Where are we annexing? I am aware of the Emperor is ready. Shikanister has returned. She must have the Room of Recall. I would be shocked if the AI didn't have everything by now. The treaty has expired. This war of ours is tiresome. 
is Essex. Well, that's unfortunate for you. The breach of East Osifil is here. And now she shall face the wrath of the Chosen of the World Serpents. Now, I could just honor this, of course, but this is the final fight for Medeus, including Medeus herself, so you know the rules. The arbitrary rules that I make up and manipulate all the time. <laughs> we must destroy her personally. Now, I've been thinking about our win condition here. Because originally I was going to go for a military victory. Which would mean, you know, dominating everybody else, of course. That's how military victories work. But because I've leaned harder into this whole... Darn, he's one tile short. Because I've leaned a little bit harder into this whole unification thing, I thought maybe, perhaps, perchance, we could... I'm going to stand on blood for this. We could do another unification victory. Which, of course, we're getting pretty close to... Death! Maybe I should have used it on this. We're getting pretty close to being able to do that. All I need to do is kill Asgaroth, and then we can unify to our heart's content. I forgot about your abilities. Yeah, well, that's fine. I thought maybe since I just did that, you know, it'd be a little, a little much. But at the same time, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just perfectly balanced. As all things should be. We'll move up a little bit. Do a little bit of how. So uh, you can let me know. If we were to do a unification victory, it'd probably just be like next episode. So if you would like this to end sooner, the series to come to its glorious conclusion. Oh. That would be the choice. 90% chance. Even with a crit, that wasn't a kill. Wow. What a pity. Part of me is surprised that... Oh, okay. Never mind. I was like, part of me is surprised that a bone dragon can bleed. You know? <laughs> can they truly bleed? Or have we been deceived? I think I just run up here and swing on this. Then I think I refresh using the Witch Beast. And get him in for the guild. Maybe we'll hit it, maybe we won't. Swing? Got one. That's good enough for me. And then uh, we can chill. Not too shabby. Can you jump over here? You can. Sure. I mean, of course you can jump over there. Just a jump. I was hoping you'd hit something as well, but... Yeah. Either it is. No, alrighty. Has everyone moved? This exemplar has not. Because this is a range unit, we'll just go tie it up. And the white wolf can join, I suppose. I was fishing for that immobilize, but... Alas... We'll just go here and defend. And I think that is uh, that. Glorious turn. Clean. Swift. Brutal. I might try and get... So there was um. Is it called Flame Tongue? I can never remember the name of it. Ooh, you tried a seduction, but my exemplar is exemplary. Or Anis Decifa or whatever her name is. I'll try and get the flame burst flame burst as it's called. The flame burst weaponry on her. Because I always wanted to see if you could make that work on a spellcaster. 
You bitch. Oh, that was rude. So rude. We can kill that and then go this way and howl. Beautiful. You can just start beating on the nymph if they deserve it. They may even be into it, who knows? Swing! She resisted the, the swing guild, but she failed the defensive guild. Bonk. The enemy wavers. And hopefully soon they fall over. That was a lot of damage. That was an incredible amount of damage. I forgot how good uh, the beasts were. Like, full beast builds are ludicrous. Oh. Good times. Now, unfortunately, the Shrine of Smiting. Can I do a whole lot here? Hm. No, just defend it's fine. I suppose I could have smitten the the catapult. It knows what it's done. And I forgot to use magic because it wasn't really necessary, but... The enemy flees. Let them, for there is nowhere for them to run. You have crumbled the last defenses of Medeus and cast her into the astral void, banishing her from this realm. Whatever schemes Medeus had in the works, none of them shall come to fruition. The last of her misguided troops flee to hide in the hills and woods. Her children of the Saruk, their spirits crushed by their false idol's yoke, now find themselves at your mercy, O oh, glorious Grand Chief. Whatever the future holds, Medeus is a thorn in your side no more. How will you commemorate this extraordinary victory? By holding a parade, of course. There is nothing more for us to do. Now we are going to vassalize the city. It will be our little, our little pet. After all, scaly kin must be united. And this is a good way to do it. I don't believe there is any chance of something walking over this and taking it from me. But just in case, we shall leave Halo here to watch over the city. And Kassesic and the Witch Beasts shall, um, stop putting the others out of their misery. Medeus has been defeated, the binding on her wonder lost. And uh, we'll go get that eventually, don't worry. Yes, you're fine, you're fine. You're going to stay here for at least two more turns. Make sure this gets down to one. Medeus has withdrawn to the Astral Void. No, she is dead. We have captured this individual. Which is great. Mmm, look at our prison. This is our prison. I was going to look at our crypt, but... Oh, ah, oh, oh, need that. Now the question is, do I grant him freedom or do I kill him? We're pretty close to being prime good again, but I'll execute him. How dare you stand in my way. And now I have another breastplate of the champion. Ah, uh, I remember the days of those being resplendent, limitless. They were everywhere. And now they seem so rare. See this resist. We have our little bouncy thing going on. Four places with the stalwart signet because just flat status resist is infinitely better. Any of these actually useful? Not really. Great. I will take the magic missile over the Raising the undead. We have more remains. Because look at that income. Over 1,000 income. Just from the crypts. We shall remain at war. But if they oppose us, we shall destroy them. Ooh, look at Char. Doing Char things. 
We have three turns. No big deal. We'll get there in time. We need to make sure we keep our crit because it's a huge income. Although I wouldn't go negative or anything. It's just... It's a lot. Our loyal vassal of Segelgrad has sent someone off. Unfortunately, they will most likely never return. But that's all right. We also finally have Tremor Ritual, the greatest siege project in the game. At the start of the combat, towers, battlements, and additional wall obstacles are destroyed. Combined with undermining the walls, that is uh, incredible. Honestly, I feel like the Witch Beast can solo that as long as something else spawns. So we'll head our way over here towards Quentin. We shall simply vassalize all this. We really cannot afford another city, unfortunately. Docks must be saved. And so we march. With Tremor Ritual in the pocket, there's not much more I really need. We are not going to take a Warbreed here. We don't really need those. I could Earth Shatter, but we'll just condemn Army to, to keep it cheap. We continue producing stuff. Shar has captured an altar. We're down to 25 Imperium in upkeep or income. We've lost that as well. We've lost that as well. <laughs> Pain. A trade proposal. You would like truce? No. Fanatic isolationists will never bend the knee. Oh no, they will. But uh, we're not going to become an overlord of anything. I can make a new bounty. I believe only our dear Naga Queen can accept these. So. Is this just telling me that Asgaroth could never accept this? Even though we are at war and I imagine someone you're at war with cannot take your bounties? Well done! Medeus' empire is defeated. This brings us both a step closer to claiming victory. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. We have some good boy points there that we could get by forgiving the crime of her betraying my trust, but it's fine. We'll keep that for now. What do I use it for? Couldn't tell you. We'll keep it. Well, well. This is my little uh, blockade here. We do lose the tier one units, but that's okay. I shall accept that loss because it was it's trash. I really don't like the little crocodiles. To celebrate your bond, Arios Abbas Eid of Olmark has invited you to an auction. The Grand Hall is dark, except for a lit stage where eerie curiosities are displayed. Amusing, isn't it? The Baron Farios Abbas Eid says, Recreation for those burdened with too much power and too much gold. Of course, lords less cultured frown upon most of what is sold here, but that is precisely why this is so interesting. Tell me, Grand Chieftain, which of these objects intrigues you? Therios Abyss Eyed offers you one item from the odd auction table. What do you bring back to Cormier? Hmm. Well, our choice is made. The Obsidian Throne. To impress other rulers of our realm. Each singular point of Imperium is of extreme importance to us right now. We made it to docks on its final turn, which was most impressive. And now we need this back. Oh, this is still ours. Never mind. They did not detach it for whatever reason. But I'm going to chase down Morden. You bastard. Unfortunately, I don't have a slow. No. There is a slow in the game, but I do not possess it. Slowed in combat. Mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It is what it is. Does this affect... Do I have this on... Um, Sea Watch. I do have it on Dogs, okay. I suppose I can place this in. Celestial Watch as well. 
Or Celestial Haven, excuse me. Oh, you weren't even in the city. My bad. Because that's like... Um, I could detach this, but unfortunately I would not be able to um, acquire it. Is this part... I think believe this is part of their domain as well. Hmm. If I took this city, I would be able to get two wonders. One being a golden wonder. Hmm. I don't believe it's worth it. There is a world where I could go up here and grab this as well. I would just transfer from my capital city, of course. But I... I don't, I, I don't know. I think we're going to go in, though. You're chilling. Kudem army is in. I don't suppose we could get a free, a free slow. Hmm. I'll take fire arrows. Spell ready to launch. It indeed is. Unfortunately, Morden is going to walk away from me. Oh, look, you have a little horned god. How quaint. Let's see if we can keep yodeling for a saber tooth. I want it. New Imperium traits are available. It is the War Slaves, which we will not be taking, and Rite of Chosen Warriors. We don't need that. Uh, it's 1100 for Expanded Governance, which is absolutely insane. Tempest Dwarf Bane is in. Let's give that to our... Sharpshooting Brute. Now the question is... What do I make with our remaining stuff? Probably worth getting um, army maintenance. You can get Berserker Rage, but I don't think that's necessary for a lot of people. I wonder if this stacks with Inspiring Leader. Is that what it is? Hmm. Let's see what we can do for Head. I don't have too many of these. What do we got? Hyper Awareness. Can't become flanked. That's pretty neat. We have Accuracy. Ooh, that could be good. We have two characters that can make use of this. Uh, for Accuracy, I believe this helmet, the mask, would be cool. Uh, so we'll do. Whoa. We'll change this to 20% Accuracy, and we'll give them uh, Star Blades. Or fortune. We'll give him fortune. Yes. Because I'm going to cast spells all the time. Accurate. Mask. I don't think this will fit. A fortune. Oh, okay. What do I know? The remains have been collected. We do want to make sure that we are using all of our resources at all times. We have trash. More remains. Trash. Well, if you weren't dead, I would kill you to, put a, to make a point. Well, well, well. What was that sound effect? Shar is coming. Which is unsurprising. Morden was my main... Uh, deterrence for Shar. And, well, now he's... Shar's deterrent from me. Quentin... I bet I can take this as well by myself. Quentin is besieged in my, oh my. So nice having Tremor Ritual. Great, fantastic, and Istosefil is ours. So we'll start making our way towards our chosen champion. And Morden tried to run, but he couldn't make it. Mm. And so he shall perish. Just checking real quick to make sure there's anything else I need to cast before we get started. Saber death. Look how many units I have just sitting here. Is that a waste? Possibly. But, um, it's okay. I don't believe I need to wrath the Emperor any of this. This is all kind of chilling. But you know what? I will. Gonna make a point here. Oh. 
That'll do a lot of damage to the stone spirits as well. Put that in the pocket. Whoops. Why I keep thinking escape is to cancel spells is beyond me. Alright. Let's go. We could auto this, but this will be our first time facing Moradin himself. And uh, you know the rules. This may also be the first time we get to see the Infernal Juggernaut actually in combat. No, we did it for the ore. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. But this is the first time we get to see the Legion of Dragons in action. Well, if that isn't special, I don't know what is. So what we'll do. Bring you over here. Pick your dragons up just a touch. Now, the stone spirits can teleport in, but... That's fine. Well, they're just going to mess up stuff, but... That's fine. Let them all chill. Over here with Lacerti Stormcrawler, who seems really small in comparison to the rest of our units. Um... I should just summon an animal. Sure. And it's a Gore Tusk Matriarch. Glorious. I'll put this in front of you. We'll bring you up here. Just to chill. And we'll bring our units over. Have a little bit of consolidation here. The skulls are in pretty bad positions, but hey. What are you gonna do? When they come, oh, you. Alright. With that, we wait. Really? That was the spell you chose to use? Okay. Fair enough. You do you. You can't immobilize me. He's trying, though. Respect, honestly. Alrighty. Of course, we're going to cast everyone's favorite spell. The Anthem of Victory. And let's see, who shall I murder? You look murderable. Mm, spirit damage. Now, I probably want to refresh if I can. And I think we'll chill. There's really no need. <laughs> really no need. We're that strong. So we'll just rip our damage. Actually, you know what? Wait, there's no reason for me to do this. Because I already got strengthened. I got everything I could possibly desire. Hmm. Make sure this is a 90%er. And we freeze it. Beautiful. I could secure the kill, but let's see if we can rip an insanity. And we did. Unfortunately, I didn't notice the target was also stunned. But that's okay. Our infernal juggernaut is going in. Should it? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Let's get an Ancestral Warden Stabby Stab. Somebody has Spur. Ah, of course. How do you have Spur? This is the thing you do. Okay, we can use yours. Because I want to use... Um... Iska, of course. Iska. I want hers to be used on... The Dragons. She is, after all, my dragon tamer. Not the most incredible breath in the world, to be honest. Also, I probably should have done the tail swipe first to break their defenses, so... All in all... Not the best. That's okay. Because death! The inn! Escapable end. You're immobilized. That is unfortunate. Weep. Now, the Golden Dragon Breath um, isn't quite as potent offensively because it heals people. 
I've already used this. Oh, I didn't use yours. Okay. Weird. Yeah, that's alright. I'm gonna tail sweep these. Which, of course, should have done that first to break the defense, but that's alrighty. Who cares? Who minds? I don't. Can I reach at this? I can. Another dragon is in play. Uh, we definitely want to try and hit the spears if we can. Those, of course, will counter our dragons. Which is unfortunate. Are you on a mount? You are on a mount. Boop. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure what the pig is going to do. He can go over here. He can start munching. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. So far, my impression of the golden dragon is, um... Not the best. Not the worst. Sure. We can be greedy. Love being greedy. Uh, the golden dragon. Wyvern. I suppose you can move up, sure. A kill is a kill. Get the kill. We'll see how the infernal juggernaut tanks up Moradin. The industry's culture is very tanky, so it's nice to finally be playing a campaign where I'm not... That was an incredible hit. And then he did something shenaniganry. Uh, where I'm not just trying to brute force my uh, my melee damage here. We have loads of elemental damage of varying types, honestly. It's pretty fun. Alrighty. Is there any spell I can use that it would be fun? Can I purify somebody? It would be hilarious if I killed... Oof. More than with a purification. But that's alright. I see you're still missing... Uh, flame momentum. No worries. I don't believe you have the bouncy attack. You two thoughts. Alright, well... Oh. The Infernal Juggernaut took quite a lot of damage there. And, um... We'll let him flee. Why not? We'll see how many survive. Quite a few did. But, uh, mostly garbage, so... Except for that transmuter. But, of course, the transmuter... is primarily a utility... a utility role. I bet I can... Oh, they're in the water, though. Can I attack them from here if I'm flying? I might be able to. I can. I'm not healing, though, which is unfortunate, but... We need to try and get closer to save Zul's Adam if we can. You know, I can army heal. Put that in the pocket. Fire wyverns are cool. We have lost the Evergrowth Sanctuary. We are now... Why does my Imperium keep up, keep going up? Ah, okay. The House of Knights Embrace can annex once again. And it shall... Uh, what are we grabbing now? Go this way. See if we can go underground. That would be fun. See, we see watch can once again annex and look at this. Oh, so beautiful. You love to see it. Anastas, Anastasifa. That is such a hard name for me to say. Anastasifa. There we go. So I want to see if she can get flame burst weapons. It looks like she can. And it says critical hit chance, not like melee critical hit chance. Seems good to me. You don't have the dome. 
But uh, we'll try and get... We only have a few more um, magical stuff, like Arcane Strength. I think that's it, honestly. Then we can try and get Flame Burst, uh, Kim, and some Arcane Weapons. We'll see what we can do. I think it'll be fun. Science. Fighting 2. I have a how many hours and I'm still testing stuff out. Break the bear. Oh, we have a bear. That baited me into thinking he had a dowsing plate. Or, <laughs> he has a dowsing plate. He baited me into thinking he has a breastplate of the champion. Which is very rude. Ignore status resist. Hmm. More war parties. Istosifil. And have a stone. Outpost has been besieged. Our Slitherer is promptly leaving. And that is our turn. Could be running out of stones here. Which may be a concern. All four of them are currently working on people. But um, I believe Allegiance goes up even if they don't have a stone. That might not be true. We'll see. We'll see. Asgoroth has bound <laughs> this poor mother ash. It keeps being bound and unbound, tugged and pulled. It doesn't know what's what. But I don't care. <laughs> Not my problem. So it looks like our vassal has indeed been lost. So Zadam claimed by Moradin. I could just go take it back. Don't you dare have a Prospects on my beautiful city here. It's mine. Can't have it. I hope I can catch up here. I just kind of went for it. Wisdom bombardment, tremor ritual, undermine the walls. Actually, we don't even need that. We can get harassed defenders. This is my vassal, and I want it back. I'm a little wounded, but I was smart, right? For once. I think. Let's find out if I was actually smart. After I get Fanatical Workforce. Now that we have an academy. Now that we have plenty of um, like happiness. Though, I'll get it. We'll see if we'll use it. This can be rebuilt, and it shall. Army heal is ready. I was smart. Look at that. So which one has my... Elephant. Hmm. Honestly, this one might need more just overall healing. And remember, my dragons heal me as well, so... Here we go. It's not the best spell. Army heal is a very early game spell, but... Yeah, it's, it's okay. But uh, let's get fire arrows going right here. This will add fire damage to all archers and... Skirmishers. And um, we could get downpour in the pocket. To make it even to make the uh the Dowie even weaker to lightning. Stolen power grants two hundred mana and two hundred knowledge upon conquest of a city. Which wouldn't be bad, but let's be honest, Tim. Two hundred mana. I have a thirteen fifty passively per turn. And then 200 knowledge. I have 2300. Those are rookie numbers. I am going to, however, get the Court of Whispers. Because we're going to need more stones. Which is not something I thought I would say. But here we are. And then we'll be waiting for Siege Masters. Shikinister has crossed you. I could not care less. It would be very difficult. We have breached the city. And this should be the easiest auto of my life. Indeed it was. And, um... I'm gonna vassalize it. Yeah, that's a vassal. The only question is this one. But, because I can't get... Um... Expanded governance. Probably not worth it at all for me to do it. We have, however, with the Witch Beast, reached the stage of major transformation. And you know it. I know it. It's shadow transformation time. 
the witch beast has returned to his prominent glory. And, um... You love to see him. Let's get, um... I do want quickened breath, but at this point it feels like my breath is a one and done, you know? Like, we, the battles don't last long enough for that to really come into play. So I'll be giving him the Crocodile Primal Communion. Allow him to speak even more so with the Great Scaled One. Okay, those are all trash. Yeah, Shar's really coming for it. That is not my only Fire Forge stone, right? Fantastic. My domain has been invaded. You know what would be really cool? I'm not sure how they would do it to make it not annoying, but it'd be really cool if, like, I was on a border with, um, an enemy, if I could detach this province, like, aggressively. I think it'd be really cool, because I want this train. Oh! Oh! Moradin! You rat bastard! I'm not even going to, uh, to fight this. I'm just gonna let it auto. This should be an easy auto because of Empowered Beasts. This really should be that big of a deal. If I had a hero here, I could just come take a safe ward as well. <laughs> Told you. Between Empowered Beasts and um, Keeper's Mark, like the AI has a very good chance of winning. And that's why my, <laughs> my current city is filled to the gills uh, with units. So I can just throw them at invaders and protect my lands. Just like this. The funniest part here is that the Naga has more movement than the beasts. If I lose them, I don't care. But well done. We have captured a barbaric brute who does not have the rest of the champion, so I don't give a lying shite. Everyone is on their way. Everyone has their duties. Why oh, don't I think there's something I need to check? Next rally is in four turns. And as mentioned, I can't really afford to get more stuff, even though more bone dragons wouldn't be cool. One more turn of the Grand Chieftain's distraction, but the Magistrate Sarya Sevenium of the Free City Sublime greets you with regret in their eyes. Let me guide. This is a 12 strength check. Wow. Let me guide you for a more righteous cause. And we succeeded. So I instantly go to neutral with uh, Sublime, which would allow me to give them a stone. Unless they are someone else's bitch, which they probably are. If I had to guess. Yep. They are Asgaroth's bitch. I could still give them a stone, thanks to the Court of Whispers, but I don't I don't see a need. I'm gonna need all me stones. Actually, I can give him a stone until this is done, which is like two turns. I didn't know it was possible to be at peace with someone who's overlord you're at war with. I mean, that's why it's a 12 check. Oh, how beautiful income. Not that I need it, mind you, but it is beautiful. We have a little slither here. In fact, I'm going to have our little slither slither over to Celestial Haven. Aid us in our defense. Against the Dark Arts. Guard, guard, guard. Halo shall assist us in the conquest of Quinton. Maybe I should send him to Wayne. You guys shall return to the city. Because there's no hero to lead you to glory against safe words. Unfortunately. But there is not. We're ready to cast some spells, and cast some spells we shall. Over here. Ooh. Okay, okay. So. Uh -huh. We shall vassalize them. Return the plague rats to us, where they belong. And we shall downpour this tile.
Okay. We will auto these since there is no hero, lord, or master here. We'll see how it pans out. Perhaps I have to fight it myself. Perhaps I do not. <laughs> it would appear I do not, although they nearly killed the golden wyvern. I think I should replace that with something. But with what? A dragon wouldn't be bad. That'd be fun. Now this is being returned to us, so we can just walk over here. Except for her. There's no wayward Dowie in my lands, no. Uh, do I not have a gate up here? I don't have a gate up here. Allow me to fix that. Ah. I would like to keep the mine if I can help it. If I can. There we go. Build it there. That's actually not a great spot for that. <laughs> I want the Chrono Grade to be near the city, so we'll just put it there. On one half, we want the the convenient practicality of teleporter locations. And on the other half, we want the income. Poor me, I can annex once again, and it shall. Sure. Lesserty is level 12. And we shall give her Mass Reach of? Give her Mass Reach of. And we'll give her, of course, Flame Burst Weapons. That will be incredible. You know what? She probably deserves a better bow as well. And now that she has that, actually, I don't think she needs the... Um... Yeah, we'll give her the lethal bow. That's just plus 40% crit damage. We'll make her another bow as well. Spells ready to cast. Let's get a... Faithful Whispers. We are going to need another one. But I cannot cast it yet. Let's get a, another YOLO in the pocket. Why not? New Empire skill is available. It is the one we have been waiting for. Siege Master. This gives us a four siege project. Salant, and it makes all siege projects 25% cheaper. Not that money is a big deal right now, but it's the principle. A free city has declared on me. Ah. A free city has declared on me. Ah. A treaty is expired. <laughs> it all makes sense. Wait, why can I have a treaty with you? Who are you? Doesn't matter to me. Ah, uh, Shar, ya bitch. Are you really gonna come up here? Do you have units or any? In fact, we can sh give you... Not this one. We'll give you this stack to complete your army. Oh, they don't have a healer. Do I have a second healer here? I think I do. I sure do. I have a lot of healers here. There you go. And you can have another one. Another one. Right there. Right there. Fantastic. Just uh, wait for our new friend. Quentin is ready to perish and join the legions. What? You consult your advisors on your war strategy against Quentin when the Elder of Oakenhold requests an audience. Kaya Stormcaller greets you formally. I will keep this brief, O Grand Chieftain, for I know you have sons of a Cormier Swamps to slay. Of a Cormier Swamps? Hmm. What carnage you inflict on your warriors is your own business, yet what innocents suffer we cannot abide. Thus, while we will not help your forces in the war against Quentin, we selflessly offer your people relief. Your citizens in Cormier Swamps clearly suffer the most from this war. Do they? What resources can we send to aid them? By the way, this helmet here, 10 bucks in World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, isn't it great? Modern gaming. I appreciate the offer, but other people need it more because now I'm prime good and can fish for the prime good event. And I'm also literally rich. So, 
Ya. Another vassal. For the vassal gods. And, um... Halo and good old... Which beast? I didn't forget his name. Is on the way. I think what we'll do is we will vassalize Wayne and we'll just go... Boop, 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 and backdoor the heart of Dragondom. And that's the play. Speaking of backdooring... Oh, I walked one tile out of my terrain. You know what? Let's get this back. I like how I'm about to use Tremor Ritual on this. I can make this a one-turn project. And we can bring the dragons. You're going to stay here and heal, though. Actually, no, you're not. You're going to go get this. Boop. 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 You are heading off. You guys are chasing down this Craven dog. Not that. You are making more Ancestral Wardens, right? Excuse me. I requested many Ancestral Wardens. Many. Limitless. Show me the Sabertooth. <sighs> One day. Maybe. I'm summoning this on a, uh, a Swamp Tile, which I don't believe affects the outcome at all. I'm fishing for an 11% default chance. Also, they changed Fanatical Workforce. But we get to choose another tome. My, oh my. What do we want? What do we want? Do you remember the good old days of Vampiros? Wait a minute. Amp arrows plus arcing weapons equals glory. One of the more fascinating aspects of the arcane is that it can be turned back on itself, augmenting and amplifying its own essence. Any wizard can cast a spell, but a true master seeks to perfect it and elevate themselves and their magic beyond what mere practitioners think possible. This is actually kind of appropriate as well, because the the Naga specifically uh, were created to seek out like magical artifacts and relics and explore the world on the Sadark's behalf. So, you know, this is kind of appropriate. Also, we have the Slither's Den in our empire now. We won't benefit too much from its secondary effect, but it's the Imperium that we need. Desperately, supremely, absolutely, really bad. The Accurate Mask of Fortune is in. I think I'm going to give this to our Spellcaster. Because um, our bow is not very good on Lacerti, and I need to fix that. Lacerti is one of our oldest compatriots, loyal heroes of the cause. Excuse me. <laughs> Ah, uh, came out of nowhere. And of course, do I just make an arc fire? We'll make an arc fire. We'll spice it up a little bit. And we have the area damage line now. Base attack deals 20% less damage, but deal damage to unit in a line. Huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> The Arc Fire Far Strike. Sure. We have collected the remains of another Lucerti. Of course, this is not our Lucerti. She is a pathetic scrub. And we have captured a barbaric brute, but he has nothing of interest to me. No. You know how it is. Give me some gold. Is this why my gold went down? Because all these treaties expired? Possibly. 
like how these are all the same. You're doing great. You're doing great. I don't know where this would go. Production becomes gold, so we'll just give it there. I can make a new bounty, but I don't care. My alignment has changed. I am now prime good. I know it's pure good, but whoa. Now this is a woman who respects the Bone Daddy. And I, despite our differences, Shar, respect that. Asgoroth has once more lost the binding on this mother ash. The back and forth, the topsy-turvy continues. The beating shall continue until someone wins, I guess. I don't remember the whole thing. But we shall reclaim our glorious outposts to get our free Imperium once again. Unfortunately, you are so wounded that I think you have to wait. Now, Moradin did return. How far can I see here? Not very. But, I mean, I'll go at him. Tell me I won't. I'll do it. Uh, we're still going to wait one more turn here in Quentin because we have two turns until it vassalizes. The Celestial Haven can further expand. And it shall. Gold nodes, remember, give me loads of resources. So more gold, more good. Show me the saber tooth. This costs Imperium. To be fair, the Hunter Spider Matriarch absolutely fucks. Ah, do I want to keep her? She is so good. Are you the one that. No. No. One of these healed themselves. I don't remember which one, but it's not her. That's okay. Um, I think I am going to try and bring her up. Maybe she can replace the the Golden Wyvern. So, Fanatical Workforce. This used to reduce um, happiness, right? Or am I thinking of something else? Anyway, since it doesn't, let's just produce production. Now, I don't know if this is actually worth it at this stage of the game. But any excess production is translated into gold. Um, so... With the produce merchandise, you convert 25% production to gold. Like I said, not the best conversion rate, but maybe it should be fun. As Groth crossed you, why would I care? You crossed me. I will cut you. Do is released as a vassal, which is not this one. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to withdraw our stone. Oh, that souls Adam. Game I spent so long making Souls Adam love me. And now they hate me. I wish there was a mechanic for that. Where, like, if you had lost a vassal and retaken it, they would still kind of like you. Like, at least let their allegiance be okay. How can you swap your allegiance so dramatically in the course of, like, three turns? That is scary. Yep. Very spooky. A glorious day dawns for Kassesic now marches. Uh, somewhere. I suppose you'll be joining his champions in Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Ah, Tremor Ritual. It's good to have you back. Tremor, all you need for a siege is Tremor Ritual. What is this here for? Tremor Ritual. And Wizard Bombardment. Holy forces. Ah. That is a lot of people. That, 
That's a lot. And we brought this down to a four turn siege. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, I can't get there in time. There is a very strong possibility I'm gonna have to fight a 3v2. Um, can I get a, a thing? Okay. At least I have a missling now. <laughs> we'll get Fanatical Workforce up and running on... Anywhere that I can. Did I just double stack that? What just happened? Awesome nice embrace, corn mist, wamps, and donks. Okay. Three more to go. Again, is this worth it? I don't know. Maybe. What I do know is that I don't particularly have to grow right now. So. Yes, we've lost this teleporter because Shar is coming and oh loud is she coming. I don't... Are you at war with her, Shikanister? Shikanister is at peace with Shar. Uh, now, I want to call her to war against her. But I have a feeling she's going to decline again. Let's see. Do you hate her? You do hate her. For science. Yep. <sighs> I don't know why she will not go to war against her. They absolutely hate each other. They're on the other side of the map, but nope. Nope. Sad face. Well. We could do the right of the banners. Unfortunately. <sighs> don't really want to. I never got pacification. I should definitely get that. And I'm definitely going to be popping the Rite of Allegiance uh, soonish. Morden has crossed you. A treaty has expired. Not that important, really. You can now be integrated. Fantastic. And we have more war parties coming. And a new rally has begun in this rally. We see lots of stuff. I do like me some Watchers. Scald. A Scald. A Scald. A Blessed Soul. And that appears to be all the things that I desire. Well, I enjoyed that teleporter. Well, it lasted. I am amazed that Morden did not attack me. Absolutely flabbergasted. Is... Is Morden abandoning his capital city? Huh. Interesting. Well, we can't have that, can we? Hmm... I was going to ask who is, like, the weakest of the the heroes. And unfortunately, I think that's not you. Son of a... I was going to say I think it's Lazerti, but this is not Lazerti. This is, in fact, probably the strongest of hero our heroes against uh, Morden. But that's... Okay, mistakes made. Mistakes made, but I think I can make them back. Make them up. Fantastic. Uh, now, as mentioned, this is against Morden himself. So, actually... It'll be fine. I was going to condemn him, but... We have to fight him personally. I'm surprised a dwarf would run so craven. But I suppose it happens. The world is full of horrific things... And Moradin knows that better than most. So we shall bring our skull over here. 
We are looking to heal up our little boys, our little wyvern boys. I don't particularly like wyverns, in case that hasn't been made perfectly apparent. But the fact that they benefit from empowered beasts has really made them useful, for lack of a better word. Well, alrighty. So we have lots of dragons. Lots of shenanigans going on here. And I would love to benefit from them. So. Let's bring them up. We do have a heal here. Bending touch you, and then we Fae Blessing you. And don't forget, of course, our... Glorious dragons heal with their breath. So, that's cool. Big fat heal. And. Big fat Morales. Which, of course, is only going to get more exaggerated next turn. We blow up the anthem of victory. You do realize you mounted unit just walked right into my tier three spears. You know that, right? If you're aware of uh, that was the plan. Fair enough. Then he attacked him. How rude. Well, I could purify this. Purifying Flame would, of course, heal them up and remove this Rosen, but let's do this instead. It is unfortunate that I already used the Summer Fairy's ability. She, of course... Look at that damage. That is a one-shot. Was this fake? It was fake. It's probably not worth killing it if it was fake. But it is a one-shot. Boop. <laughs> do I do it anyway? Let's see how our damage is here. I do have a death, but the death is stuck inside of all these dragons. But she can fly, so maybe we just rip it. Yes, let's rip it. Death! It is the inn. Escapable inn. That awaits all mortals. Especially the sanctimonious idiots who presume to use me. I am nobody's puppet. I am Immobilize, the puppet master. And in death, you will all dance upon my strings. How's that? I feel like every series I just break the full quote open every now and again. Like at least at least twice per series. Hmm. The question is Do I you to use this? It's not going to tell me. I believe this one did not use the breath. And you being immobilized is Certainly complicated matters. We'll get a little heal going. Get run over. What does this do again? That'd be pretty fun. You know what? Sure. I do really want to get another Shrine of Smiting explosion going. Let's for this. Then I can do this. Oh. Beautiful. 
now we'll bring Iska back here. Huh? Of course, Iska is now quite exposed. Should be fine. Beautiful. 60% chance for the kill, and it is good. Oh, we're one tile short. Are you serious? 15%. That's a low chance, but we connect. You'll have to see him. Now, we don't really want to fight here if we can help it. We want this side to be as safe as possible. Go for the freeze. It was resisted, but we did slow it. So if it had any retaliations, it would not retaliate. Well, it would lose a retaliation. But it is a range unit, so it doesn't really matter. And that was our turn. The enemy wavers before our might. Which is quite impressive because... Oh, that might be a dead blue wyvern. I think it is. To agree with that positioning. And by dead, I mean, of course, Keeper's Mark. That was incredibly bold. He tried to assassinate my White Wolf. But you know what he did in the process of that, right? He stood right next to my Ancestral Warden. The AI does not respect my Ancestral Warden. So we have full fortune. Oh, yeah, this gives fortune, doesn't it? Ah. That means my attunement thing doesn't really... isn't really that important. I think we should purify. Why not? All right, let's get some stabby stabs. I wish you had assassinate. That'd be funny. But you can die to a fairy. I know the Dowie and the Fae don't particularly get along very well. Shall we go eat this guy? Is this a hero? It is. Let's eat him. Unfortunately, I don't believe we got the immobilized, but... Definitely want to assist here if we can. Make sure the silly AI doesn't claim any more lives than it needs. The enemy! Please. But we are going to kill as much as possible. And, um, I will do that for you. There's no need for you to be here to watch. Hopefully... I can get away with this on this little frost river not dying. And the final blow. I believe I was able to kill everything that was on the screen. And the frost wyvern survived. I got four Imperium for that. Uh, I'm not sure how. But I'll take it. Now, we must continue the battle. But uh, some of this is more terrifying than others. More terrifying than Morden stacked, in fact. So, we'll uh, drop the beats. Oh, I'm five away from able to condemn everything. How unfortunate. Fine. Let's get the wrath of the Emperor in. And then we'll deal with the rest of our casting points after the slaughter. Now, I can auto this. Uh, if we bleed too much, I will... Fight it myself, of course. And I believe losing the Frost Wyvern was only kind of the natural consequence here. So, uh, we shall accept that. I don't know if I'll accept losing the Golden Wyvern as well, but we don't have to accept it, so... Beautiful. It will be unfortunate if Lacerti is caught alone here. What we'll do is we'll give her this deck. And hopefully, it'll all work out. The positioning here is absolutely atrocious, but hey. What are we going to do? Is this being converted into a city? What's happening here? 
I hope my AI friend is stealing this and it's not being converted to a new city, but... With more than den. All we have to do now is take a city and that'll be another opponent. Feld. Jar better enjoy her moments of... Her final moments of glory. You turn this into a city. What on earth possessed you to do that? I... Oh... You know what? You get what you fucking deserve. Iska Life Taker has done stupendously well. Let us give her some defense. Anastasifa has also done stupendously well. Her damage... Mwah. Magnifique. I will give her Mana Unchained. Can she actually benefit from Crocodile Communion? I think she can. She cannot benefit from Searing Weapons. Nor from Sundering Strengths. So we'll give her Crocodile Communion. Fanatical Workforce is ready. We are bringing this down south to the Celestial Haven. And then we're bringing the next one to Sea Watch. Morden has withdrawn. Indeed he has. The remains of Moira. Moira, fun fact, is the name of... Is it the princess of the Dark Iron Dwarfs? Who is the daughter of... The Dwarven King? I think so. That lore was kind of retconned. Was it? Ah, Shikanister, why? Once again... I shouldn't have even bothered. I shouldn't have even tried to call her to war because I just got her to 800. <sighs> How many turns is it going to take? Nine turns to refresh this. Fine. Shouldn't have even tried. <laughs> like, I knew what the outcome was going to be. I knew that she was going to say no. Because she said no earlier. I'm not sure why. Uh, go fight Char for me, please. For party. A city was released as a vassal. Yes, I don't have a stone for you. How are we doing? You can be a Supreme Vassal in five turns. You will as well. That'll be my stones back. Two, three, four, five. Be a flourishing Vassal. So what I'm going to do is once we take Wayne, I'm going to pop that, um... Not my Arcanium or I worked hard for this. Is it my only one? It is. Oh, shite bag. Ah, uh, Kassesic has made it just before the desecration of Wayne. Very good. Very good. And it looks like Morden is trying to come rally his forces, and we can't have that. That is unacceptable. Oh yeah, I lost a unit, but I also recruited one, so... <laughs> The missling I spawned in will do well. This is a 2v2, which I don't like. What is slowing me down here? The Scald? I believe I can take one step forward. And then I can take one step back. <coughs> Counting. I got two Imperium that time. How does it work? I'm going to stand on the Bazaar of Wonders. I'm not going to pillage it, but I'm going to stand on it. Or am I? Do I have it? I could do that. This isn't evil anymore, is it? No, it is. You know what? Ah, it's evil. I have just enough to do that and then still be good. Okay, fine. We'll take it as desperate times require desperate measures, because I'm pretty sure I'm 21 turns away from Dark Vigor, and I'm 
24 turns away from resourceful figures. So we'll be doing this just as a means to an end. It's not like I can't do any evil actions. I've executed people. And uh, since this is all wrapping up nicely... I mean, I guess you can stay here, sure. Ah, look, our units are back. Our units have come in from the glory. The rally of the lieges. Uh, sure, we'll have mines. That one reduces city happiness. That wasn't what I wanted from this tome, but I mean... It works. Oh, yeah, that's the Gorgon's Lair. Yeah, I, I remember now. Sea Watch can annex as well. We are just going to keep... Oh, look at this knowledge. Just keep funneling the knowledge. East got life tanker. Getting to momentum. She has done stupendously well for us. Fanatical workforce is going all the way to Sea Watch. And I believe that's... I mean, I have six cities. Sea Watch, Celestial Haven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't believe Wildheart got one. There we go. We are all fanaticaled up. Which again, was it worth it? Maybe. Maybe not. We have a lot of Faithful Whispers to catch. To catch. To cast. To catch the will of others. And there's a little Meyer Crocodile down here. I like how so many spawned in the south and just like three spawned in my continent. <laughs> That's okay. The Arc Fire Bar Strike is ready. Fantastic. It's a lot of mana, but I do love me some knowledge. And I do have quite a lot of mana. La Certi. There you are. Have this lovely bow. And let's see. I have nothing for you. Nothing! I think I should definitely craft some of those. In the Archeon playthrough, I crafted a whole bunch. I used this little thing, and I made called them Nurgle uh, sensors or something, and gave it army recuperation and army maintenance. And I said something ridiculous, like every army should always have this. Thankfully, there's no hero here to post to... Um, Take that outpost. These guys have left after they have broken my teleporter. Rude, but fair. But mostly rude. Wayne. It's about to be mine. At the grand square of your city, Celestial Haven, a construction fair is taking place. Builders from all across the continent have gathered to marvel at the latest machines and inventions devised by the Naga Erudites. The production methods developed by your people have piqued the interest of many rulers. How do you wish to commemorate the ingenuity displayed by your Naga erudites? Give a speech about the importance of production for your empire. I should worth... It's worth noting. <laughs> worth noting Naga erudites are Shikanister's people, who are also my people. We're just having a little bit of a marital spat right now. Don't worry about it. Uh, once again, the Mother Ash was bound, and then Shikanister promptly said no. So I'm not the only one she's having a spat with. The difference is hers involved. He did convert this to a city. You rotten bastard. Well, it's not really going to matter. After all, death is upon you. Morden's back. Back again. But I don't think it's really going to mean anything. Just like Wayne is not going to mean anything for me. And uh, final decision. You know, I could technically... Okay, this wasn't the city. It was that city. Alright, we're just going to vast on system. Like, I could... I could technically integrate it. Technically. But we're not going to.
We're going to prepare for the back door. The backstab. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Wait a minute. Halo, he has a bouncing weapon, so... Perhaps he should bounce some more. Moradin has returned. As we can see, we have gathered the remains of Peter Holder. Peter Holder! That's like the most realistic name I've seen in this list. Peter. The province was pillaged by my vassal and they've sent me some money. Fantastic. <sighs> this tiny little bullshit city. My domain has been invaded. Mm -hmm. It has. It's been invaded everywhere. There's really no stopping the invasions. Ah, Moradin's final desperate attempt at survival. But I must fight this personally because the king himself, the dwarf father, has returned. And we're going to have to uh, make do. Unfortunately, my infernal juggernaut is on the brink of death, but we can rectify that. Let's see how far can I move here? Probably don't want you up front, though. <laughs> don't want you up front, either. Bring you here. Bring you here. You there. Well. Still kind of up front, but that's okay. Do a mending touch. Do a fey blessing. I don't know if I want to pop all these heals already, but I will. Make sure our boys stay safe. Ah, oh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird is kind of like the equivalent of being, oh, I want an elemental to tank for me, and then summoning the fire elemental. Basically the same thing. That's okay. Me too. You're a little wounded as well, my good fellow. But we can get the Scalds to assist. It's been a long time since I've had this much healing in an army. Kind of nice in a way. My Golden Wyvern is on the brink of death. There is a good chance he could just kill the Wyvern with a spell here, but the Wyvern is will be saved by Keeper's Point. So. Morden appears to have lots of healing as well. Okay. Let's get the Scald to Mending Touch. Um, I could... Good salvation. You know what? Let's use um. You could fan embrace, I suppose. It'd be fun. Just purifying flame. Oh, uh, I'm here. That'll boost us up a little bit. Uh, probably not worth doing this yet. We'll just chill. Anyone else got any abilities to use? While I'm here. Uh, we'll drag it back. And we'll spawn an elemental. Maybe something cool. Hey, look. Fire dragon. Or fire elemental. Of course it is. We're just gonna chill for another turn. Show me what spell you're gonna use, Morden. I'm ready. I'm waiting. Did you bring one of Shara's people for this? You did, you asshole. By the way, Shar uh, has a Fate Touch now. So, you know, the Misty Spirits are kind of less... Or not Misty Spirits, the Misty um, Clouds are a little less useful against her. It is time for the Anthem of Victory. The Anthem of Victory. And I think it's time we go in. It's time we show them what's... what. I'm definitely going to do a refresh here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Go there. 
Then we take our Ancestral Warden. Do a little bop. Look at that. It's beautiful. I believe this only affects enemies now. As it's supposed to. Now we have Lacerti in her new fangled weaponry. Well, unfortunately, I can't make use of it. Unfortunate. So we'll just summon a thing. And we summon the Caustic Worm. Ooh. Of course, the Fire Elemental is just here hanging out. Um. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, look. More Magma Elementals. Just what I wanted. How did you know? Okay, we need to clear the way. So that I can get in here and spur this guy. Boop. And then we need our dragons to come do more stuff. Ow. That hurt. It was very rude. But good news. Okay. I was uh, not respecting the golden dragon breath. Just a little respect. A little bit. Surprise. We have the mistling here. Kill it. Beautiful. Marvelous. Now we can just force them to run and call it a day. So remember that. Boop. Boop. Because um, there's nowhere for them to run. We're about to win. We're about to take their city. And then what are they going to do? Nothing. Because they're all craven jumps. That might be a kill. I like how the dragon looks... Turns face to look at him like, yes, thank you for the heals. I appreciate it. We roll the 5% for the kill. Be with. Unfortunately, my watcher can't watch anything. He is sad. Okay. Right. That's the turn. Uh, mostly everything is broken. Everything is broken. Even more than fleas. The enemy flees. I was going to say, it's quite unusual for the enemy to break while their lord is still alive. But here we are. The enemy breaking while their lord is still alive. The Craven Jumps. And I could chase them down. We could slaughter each and every one of them. But why? When all one needs to do that you have crumbled the last defenses of moradin the soul forger and cast him into the astral void banishing him from this realm whatever schemes dwarf father moradin the soul forger had in the works none of them shall come to fruition the last of his misguided troops flee to hide in the hills and woods his hammers of moradin their spirits crushed by their false idols yoke now find themselves at your mercy, O oh glorious Grand Chieftain. Whatever the future holds, Moradin the Soul Forger is a thorn in your side. No more. How will you commemorate this extraordinary victory? Of course, by holding a parade. Honestly, I want to raise this. Because I want this gone. I want to take this for myself. He chose to betray me. I'll be I won't be prime good anymore. But we're not we're not about being good. We do what we want. We do what the what the world serpent demands. And as with the deep pink invaders, he demands destruction. 
And you know what? <laughs> I was going to say he demands destruction of all of them. But I think we can actually peace out with his, that, his other cities. This might be really painful. Oh, we're good. Um, because he has a lot of cities, I think. Ooh, purging arrows. I don't have too many. The whole reason I'm here, there even isn't. Show me. Amp arrows. Remember the day where amp arrows are just the absolute giga chad? The crusher of souls. The destroyer of worlds. The backbone of builds. Am I running out of things to say about it? I have rinsing though, because it's okay. So, with the death of Moradin, his crypt, of course, comes to us. And in this crypt, our dear Reshtorm Collar rests. In Dusk Vault. What the fuck is Dusk Vault? Bulwark? Safe Ward? Deep Vault? Pox Pit? Where is this God's Forsaken City? What? Ah. <sighs> Anvil. Wasn't there a feature where you could search on the map? Mm. <laughs> Maybe it'll come to me. Yeah, the home. I know where the home is. It's my home. Okay. I don't know. He has so many stupid cities, though. Yes, I don't care. Bulwark. You know what? <laughs> Everything near my city I'm going to remain at war with. You're not getting truce. Provinces pillaged by my vassal and they sent me money. Thanks, bro. Why? Why does this keep ending? I feel like this grievance here will forgive your transgressions. The fact that I bound a golden wonder is hurting. That's okay. Uh, so Asgaroth is the only facet that remains, and Shar is the only other opponent that remains. And speaking of Asgaroth, look, I found him. I don't know what I did to him to make him look like this when he goes angelic, but it's kind of cool. Like, it kind of looks appropriate for Asgaroth, who's supposed to, like, embody entire worlds or you know the creation and destruction of worlds looks cool weird but cool so the question remains do i bring this world you know what i might as well it's not a question anymore we're going to win through brutal military victory next time i think next time will be the last episode the poll for the next series uh will go up then i have finished it, at least it's rough draft. I'm very happy with it. All four choices are incredible, and I think you're going to be excited. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up to the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below, and I will see you next time for the grand conclusion of the World Serpent's Rebirth. Bye!